Okay, number two question from Scott. Coach, been feeding the ducks a lot lately. Looking to increase my position in eyeball incrementally over quad two. Not sure how to determine the best entry point. Should I be looking at it? Tenure yield risk range or when the fund is trading a discount to its NAV? Well, it wouldn't be discount to NAV. It would be when you get a compression in the yield curve. The yield curve is your leading indicator on eyeball, not the tenure. Well, the tenure yield is part of the yield curve. So um, when you take uh, the, the components, of because you don't have a risk range, I do, um, on eyeball, the simple thing to do is just buy it on down days. I buy at least 50 basis points of eyeball on every down day. Every down day. Because I don't know, well, first of all, eyeball really doesn't go to the low end of the range. So that's why I do that. Plus, it's a fixed income security, so I'm trying to always get to a 10% position. It's a huge position, right? Not huge relative to what it should be. That's my max position, my rule on fixed income. So 50 basis points at a time, I can do that 20 times to get to my max position. So any down day, that's what I'm doing in eyeball. Any down day, okay? Particularly as we get closer to the end of the month because they, they pay a wonderful distribution, as many of you would know. So again, when you're looking at the uh, leading indicator on eyeball, eyeball, this should not be red. This should be pink, right? This is nice. This is, this is really nice. This has been a beauty. Great versus uh, short. Let's go back to the red versus bad TLT. This portfolio, crushing it, just crushing it. If we had Bender, you know, the conference, um, this people would be just getting crushed on this. Just, just lighten it up, having a great old time. Uh, but again, the, the reason why is, or, or the leading indicators on this is the 10 year yield uh, minus the two year yield, okay? So that gives you this morning is the yield spread, 101 basis points. 101 basis points, you take the two minus the one. So again, that's actually widening even a little bit more. Now it's, plus. actually just as I was writing that, I, I could feel it, I could, I could feel the steepening. It went to 102. Wow. So 102 is a, a steepener. That's, you're going to get paid. That's, you get paid on eyeball when the curve steepens, and you get buying opportunities when it comes down. So when you go back to last week, let's just do a magic trick. Let's go. I'm not going to look, but if I count the days backwards, and I go to last week, because I know I'm going to land on last week if I go more than five pages. Holy shit. It was, yeah. It was a flatter curve that day. And that's where he bought more eye eyeball. Should we do, do you think we could compete with David Blaine with that magic trick? <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next question here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to Chris from Little Silver. Yeah, the, the yield spread on that day, on the 29th of January. 29th of January, what was that day? Look at what the market did on that day. The yield curve was 95 basis points wide. 